Hello everybody, Stoic here, back playing Amnesia, a machine for pigs. And, uh, last time, um, well, we kind of missed a phone call. I don't think he's going to call back. So hopefully I didn't miss anything too important. So, let's go back down here. So yes, this is very dark. Very dark place. Chill. Holy crap, what was that? Okay, it is too bright in here. Okay. Wood. Stop shaking things, thank you. I sense a puzzle coming on. Piston control room, eh? Shut up. I had enough of your shenanigans. Oops. That way. All right. Note. A series of collecting vents has been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors, vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. Gross. In this way, the... The more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. Yes. Hmm. That, so, okay. It's a thing. Weird. Uh-oh, that's not good. Four. Always good, I think. It's burning. Is that good? Yes, that's good. So that's four. Here's six. Somewhere in that, in that room. We have three. Three is bad. Okay, so one and five. Hmm. Well, there's, there's no. Oh. Okay, is that coal? I guess, something. Let's put another one in there. Boosh! Are we good? Yes! Chill, pigs. Chill. And by chill, I mean shut up. Okay. Stop! Are your furnaces fueled? Um. I don't know. Two and six. Two, do you have fuel? You, you do. Okay. Well, you're set. Whoosh. Sweet. I don't even know what I'm doing this for, but I'm doing it. Do, 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 do. Yes, that is six. Thank you. Okay, that is five, that is six. I guess this is the way we'll be going. Danger, no entry to the under pistons when machinery is at rest. The pistons are silent, the plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way, I fear. The scale of these, these engines suggests a far greater works than is visible from the surface. So my friend must be correct, and the larger part of this plant is underground. We are close to the th to the Thames. I boy, yeah. no wonder flooding is such a risk. I don't like the font in this game. <laughs> Weird font that letters just kind of work their way together. 
makes it a little difficult to read sometimes. Um, need another piece of coal, I think. Coal. Five, do you have some extra coal? You do not. Oh, yes you do. I think this is coal. I really have no idea. It's really hard to say. Pigs, shut up. Seriously. Fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and upgrades the piston. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. Shut up. God. So freaking noisy, man. Yeah, you're there now. Okay. I like this. It's freaking dark. And the music is loud. What the hell is this doing? You don't see me. can't see anything. Like, I barely can make out a damn thing here. Oh good, I'm crouching, so perfect. Oh good, that closed behind me. Wonderful. Okay, I really, I really don't like how dark it is. Like, this is stupid dark. What is this doing? Again? Seriously, who designs these things? See you, Mr. Pig. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going around you. I think I saw him. Seriously, where the hell am I going? I can't... Ugh. I, I, I assume I'm going the right way. Because there's really no way I can tell here. It is loud as crap. Like, where am I? What am I trying to do? Oh, hello, Mr. Pig. You just stay over there. Seriously, what am I trying to do? Where am I trying to go? Down this way. Sure, why not? Oh, God. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And the doors should be locked. I want to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises. That snuffling. Those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. Yeah, and if the door should be locked, which they probably will. Okay, I need to remember. Okay, so I think we are relatively safe. And I mean relatively. Yeah, this seems like a really bad place. Up the stairs. 
A door? It is. Compound X storage. Danger. No naked flames. Okay, two sets of doors. So we're still in that building. Oh, note. The crate arrived this morning and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial m muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous barbarous surgery, or was born deformed in an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is, I cannot tell. But I smell the orb upon him, and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments. But men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. So, am I freaking related to Daniel? And now we have orbs again? Well, like I did say before, this is, I think, supposed to be in the same universe, so the orbs' existence makes sense. But the fact that we're directly related... What did he say, my great-uncle? Is that what he said? Okay, so I'm not going this way. Um, the fact that they're, you know, he's his great uncle, it's just like, holy crap. But Daniel didn't really do experiments, per se. I mean, he tortured people. Part of Alexander's kind of experiments and such, but it wasn't Daniel's thing. He wasn't experimenting, he was just kind of going along with it. like this tunnel. Okay. But apparently we're going along it. Shut up. Get up there. Another note. Some doors. Is this door open? It's not. Alright, that leaves us but one door. Oh. Thank you, children. Chemical transportation. Danger. Highly corrosive. Highly flammable. Oh, goody. I guess this is our alternative means downward. Yes, indeed. In the nest of eggs, the factory is quiet now. Stumbling the alley, a wrench hung loosely from his hand, oil and grease dripping up off it, looking like blood in the half-light. Lovely. Oh. Nest of eggs, horrible monsters, and death. Okay. What is that? Okay. What? Am I dead? Is it over? Nope. I'm just knocked out again. Seriously, dude. Stop getting knocked out. It's ridiculous. Can I move? There we go. Alright. Made it. Oh, telephone. Bruised and battered, but alive. I've survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in, the ep in an epic struggle. But I am driven to find my family, and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the way to the bilge. Drain the flood. Free your children. Answer the telephone. Quickly, Mander, find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. 
dude. What the? Flip. Note. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate and using in consideration or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brennenberg infusion vitae to one part orgone munad disperal fluid is sufficient. This can then be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Sh Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body it is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Okay, so Brennenberg infusion vitae, so obviously connecting to Dark Descent. Schumann lamp. Hmm. I wonder if that means my lamp can kill things. That would be awesome. I don't know why I can bother opening these things up. I can't take anything out of it. It's locked! There is clearly another passage beyond the locked gates. It seems I have a choice of approach. Padlock is old but firm, and after that fall, I cannot summon the strength to break it open. Perhaps I can find another way. Yes, like the... Um, thing that I just read about. Okay. So I guess I need to get these things. Brandenburg Infusion Vitae. And Orgone Munad Despero Fluid. Um, and then it'll act as an acid. Classic puzzle from the first game. Fly, apparently. Okay, so I'm hoping that typically puzzles will allow me some freedom to not be haunted by monsters. That would be preferred. There's that that statue again. Nothing. Excuse me, chair. Can't see. Oh, glasses. What's with the glasses? Do the pigs need them to see. Drawers. Get out of the way. Okay. What? It's some form of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I've seen too often before. It is clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Okay, so yes, I believe I'm correct. I'm mixing compounds to make an explosive. Hello, button. Question is... Where are these compounds? Oh, comp- Oh. One in each direction, I bet. Holding- Oh, okay. And low temperature storage. Ugh, both of these sound like not fun. Hi. Yeah, of course. Frickin' course. Ugh, I'm gonna die. Did that do anything? Oh, you're gonna be a bastard, aren't you? You're gonna show up when I'm doing stuff. Come on. Come on. What? Okay, stand up. Pull the thing down. Give me that. Can't see anything. Wait a second. What the freaking A? Oh, that is bull. That is bull crap. 
I hate you. God dang it. Screw you. Stop now. Oh. Ow! Ow, oh, come on! What the freaking A? He wasn't even next to me. What? He was like on top of me in half of a second. Where am I? Gonna frickin' run. You suck, you bastard. Nope, go forward. Oh. Okay, that was a little startling. Um. Okay. One compound down. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, vitae. just take him out. You could dump him in the river for all I care. Seriously. If, if this person is me, I'm way more messed up than Daniel ever was. Possibly even more messed up than Alexander ever was. Because, you know, he like, just wanted to get home. I don't even really know what this dude's motivation is. God. I don't like holding pens. I really don't. They can go shove it. Silence. Do not just startle or upset the- oh my god. But there's no way I can help it. I'm gonna die again. Okay. By the way, I can vaguely see right now. I don't know if you guys can or not. Oh gosh. If I have to go back this way, stuff is going to go down. I can tell you now, is this. Apparently it stinks. Teddy bear, you are most creepy, as always, thank you. Note. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. The other serious specimens of humanity I have ever seen. No one, ask where, no one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding in their teeming, stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth, we give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock, dull, brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of, a, of gas. I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed, as bones are reset. I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is their reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them, my children. I whisper to their dreams. You are my children now. I have children once again. And your forms and perfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. Creepy? Um... Are my children now pigs that I'm going to go save? And number three, laudanum. I believe it uses opiates, which is why it would be relaxing, I assume. I don't really know drugs. Sorry to say. Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be. Man, I'm a dick. I see, again, I'm assuming this is me. 
And the pig's gonna burst through that door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, pig did not burst through that door. He'll burst through that door. Yes. I'm not here. I'm not here. Seriously. He's right in my way. What am I supposed to do? I don't know where I'm going. Wait, what? You are right. Okay, so there's a door. That looks like fun. Yeah. Okay. Of course I will. Take care in this place, Mandus. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Wonderful. Okay, I'm still looking for the other chemical somewhere. Oh, this is, was the lift. Okay, got it. Well, I wasn't planning on using it really to begin with, so it's okay. Hog wheels. Friends from the other game. Okay, this corner is pointless. Wonderful. Alright, up the stairs we go. Yes, more locked doors. So I kind of wonder, why do you even put the doors in if they're just going to be locked? Okay, there's the chemical distribution thingy. Is this correct? Seems so. Okay. So that's likely the way out. Do I want to go this way? I'm getting flickering lights. Oh, okay. Can't, can't, can't cross that way yet. That's why I'm going this way. Got it. Freaking pigs. This weird hallway design. Okay. Shut up, lying kid, ghost children. Okay. I have no shadow. I do not exist. I mean, seriously. I'm getting the impression my kids are the pigs. And I'm just delusional and wanting to save them. <sighs> that, that is my impression. Frickin' A. Note. More experience with Compound X. Took the dog and injected it with Strike... Strike 9. Strike 9. I don't know. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of Compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon revival meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps, yes. Is, after all, known to be the kindest of suicides. Really? If one were to drown, replacing the fluids in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. 
Okie dokie. Wonderful. Well, this has been fun. Um, yes. So all that wraps up for this one. Next time we'll go for that door, I imagine. So until then, stay frosty.